Hello everyone, I'm Ted Barden, and it's been my honor and privilege to host the ISU Junior Grand Prix on our YouTube channel. As we close out a sixth season of live coverage of the Junior Grand Prix, the athletes and their journeys never cease to surprise and charm us. There is so much that one could say, but I wanted to mention just a few that stand out for different reasons. First, we've seen three new countries participate this season, Peru, United Arab Emirates, and Vietnam. And one of the wonderful features of the Junior Grand Prix is that it's inclusive and seeks to invite and encourage skaters from around the world to join our international community. In addition, our online community continues to grow as more and more fans share in following the journeys of these remarkable young athletes. Seven countries, thousands of miles traveled, and over 200 hours of live broadcasts, many wonderful moments experienced, and here are just a few. On the ice, the ladies continue to produce extraordinary work, which to a large degree is setting a new standard by which even the seniors have to meet. Week two in Lake Placid, Elisa Liu of the United States produced a wonderful quad lutz and a triple axel, but that's not all. She's fresh and charming and brings her own personality to the ice. Week four in Chelyabinsk, Kamila Valieva of Russia responded by producing a two quad program. Okay, one had a fall, but still extraordinary and all wrapped up in beautiful style and class. But that's not all. Week six in Zagreb, Hei and Lee of Korea produced a completely clean and powerful performance of the highest quality. So all three won both their events and will go head to head in Torino at the Junior Grand Prix Final. But let's not forget, there are three other excellent ladies right behind, ready to strike, should they falter. Perhaps though, the men produced the deepest field of contenders over seven weeks. The improvement in junior men's skating is clear in that they have greatly improved their overall skating and performance skills, in addition to their technical progress. The top nine men in junior Grand Prix standings all won a medal this season, but top performances came from Andrei Mozilev of Russia, who won both events week three in Riga and week six in Zagreb with solid and consistent skating. The dynamic performances of Yuma Kagiyama of Japan was also a highlight with his exceptional speed, massive jumps and soft knees. And let's not forget Daniel Samsonov of Russia who displayed unique style and technical abilities for such a young man. The great news though is there are many other young men with developing abilities who will challenge at the final and in the future. In ice dance, in pairs, the process of growing and maturing into successful seniors takes a bit longer as relationships and teamwork are so critical to team success. Having said that, the excellence in both these disciplines is improving each season because of superb basic skating skills and some remarkable elements. Avonlea Nguyen and Vadim Kolsnik of the United States have taken a classic approach to this year's program, full of style, class and seasoned with just a bit of drama. Elizaveta Shanineva and David Narajny of Russia have delivered energetic performance with difficult and innovative elements as both these teams won their events. But the Georgian team of Maria Kazakova and Georgi Rivia bring a fresh approach, all supported with excellent technical quality. But as with the men, the depth is increasing and that is a good sign for not only the juniors but also the senior ice dancing. In pair, the top six are all good teams, but clearly the pair elements of Apollinaria, Panfilova and Dmitry Rilov of Russia are in a category of their own. The speed, difficulty and quality of these elements rival many, if not most, senior teams. There's work to be done on single elements, but the rest is clear. They will be players as they enter seniors. These are just some of the on-ice high-performance highlights of the Junior Grand Prix 2019, but there were other moments and people that made the seven weeks special. In week one in Courchevel, it was suggested that I be strapped into the back of the Zamboni as I interviewed the driver about their process for such excellent ice, and that was fun. In week two in Lake Placid, Harshida Ratani of India skated in both dance and singles with limited ice time for training and limited skills for competition, at least at this point. But she has the heart of a passionate performer as she became absorbed by the moment where she could display her love for skating and dance at the same time. And in an interview after, she told me this. I have this motto that I skate to express, not to impress. And uh, I just love its features and everything. It's just my passion and I get really attracted towards it. Week four in Chalabins was perhaps the biggest surprise of all. We did not know what to expect and it was a part of the world we had never been. But as people arrived, there was an amazing welcome for every competitor, coach and official. And as the week progressed, we saw the incredible promotion outside the building and the largest audience to ever watch a Junior Grand Prix event. 
it was clear that the skating in Russia is at the highest level and appreciation not only for Russian skaters, but also for the rest of the world. Congratulations to the Russian Federation and Chelebins for an extraordinary experience. As we close out the Junior Grand Prix 2019, I wish to thank the ISU for their continued support and vision to expand access to skating worldwide with our live stream. To Swiss Timing for their partnership and friendship as they continue to provide quality scoring and results systems. And to our ISU media team and on location social media support. And to all the incredible officials who give so much of their lives to support these events around the world. And of course, to the coaches and parents for their guidance of such remarkable young athletes. I want to personally thank my Junior Grand Prix family at Red Brick Sports, for without them, none of this would happen. Sam McCandless, Tim Olaflid, Austin Bullion, Tom Worley, our director, and most importantly, the executive producer and master planner, Rob Dustin. We've opened skating to more countries and cultures as we follow the guiding principles to be honest, kind, and supportive. This is the example we must show the next generation. It is, in my mind, the least we must do. For all of us here at the ISU and Red Brick Sports, I'm Ted Barton. So long, everyone.